let me take you on a road One family on a throne Cause we got, we got it We got treasures and moments, yeah we got I banished the time pirate to the land of the dinosaurs. Are you kidding? And look, we got the treasures back. This is. Oh my goodness. Let's see if they're all. Wait, wait, how did you get this back? Did the time pirate? I met Ryan from the future. What? Yes. Oh my goodness, Rebecca. How did it go? How did you do it? Like I met Ryan in like the year 2070. He was really old man. Really? He said he gathered all the treasures and look. He gave me this new time travel device. Check it this out. Whoa. And I was able to time travel back here with that. But look, he says he's been gathering the time the time pirates that stole all of our treasures. He's been gathering the treasures back and he returned it with me. Wait, time pirates? Yeah, the time pirates. I guess there's more than one. We only encountered one, but I want to see if this has all of our treasures in it. <gasps> it does! Whoa. They're all back! The unicorn horn and the diamond! Everything's here. Even the Time Pirates clock. Okay. Whoa. So, now we need to get out of here because this still isn't even our right time. Thank you. Yeah. So we're like a couple of weeks. Remember? We came to the wrong time, so our other selves from this time are probably still around. We should probably get out of here. So, our past selves are still here in this time. They ran away. And pretty soon, we know exactly what happens to them, so we can avoid them and not accidentally meet them. But because we're staying here because they're gone right now. So we want to try to get back to our regular time? I think we should. What is our regular time? I think our regular time is when the time pirate kidnapped us... In the bathroom. In the bathroom. And sent us to a different dimension. We need to go back to them. Okay. I'm setting the time machine. I'll need everybody around me. Okay, it's set. Okay, everybody be touching dad. That means you too, Becca. Okay. Okay, guys. Everybody ready? Two? Yep, we gotta bring the treasure chest with us as okay, well. Okay, everybody, one. where's Charlie? I can't see I got him, he's right there. Okay. One, two, three. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I think we're back to our regular Let's time. check. <gasps> oh! The time pirate just appeared and disappeared. Wait, let me check my phone. We made it! It's 2019! Whoa! Right. We're finally back! We're finally, like, officially back to the right time, to the right place, right dimension, everything. And we got our treasures back from the time pirates. Wow! What? Look at what I just found on the front porch. What? I don't know how long it's been there. I wanted to see the world in our own time. It's snowy everywhere. And this was just sitting on the front porch. Wow. I've never even seen this before. I don't know where it came from. It's a like a tablet or something. Should That's turn cool. it on? Yeah, let's yeah. turn it on. Okay. Look. It's got photos. That's and cool. Rivet. Rivet. What is that? Hold on. That's that's the only two apps on it. So it says photos and rivet, and that's and it. Rivet. Uh, Should well, I? Let's sit down and look at it. Okay, I'm gonna get out of this bandit outfit once and for all. I've been wearing it for way too long. Well, how long were you gone? Because your time is probably different than ours. I wasn't gone for very long. Really? Yeah, maybe just a few hours. Wow, it was a whole day in our time. But I went to a lot of different places. I'll have to tell you about it later. Okay. All right, let's see. Scooch over just a little bit. Alright, All right, let's That's look okay. at this. This just showed so, up on the front porch. Should you check the so photos weird. first and see if there's yeah, anything yeah. interesting? One video. Okay, let's see what this is. Whoa. A video? Load video. Oh. Whoa, that's us! Scooby 
Rich House family, That's treasure hunt, That's active what? Welcome Mr. E. Mr. E. Sending video feed. It's from Mr. E, guys. Beach House Facebook, Beach House YouTube, Beach House Mission Info. Hello, Beach family. <gasps> Mr. E! Yeah! Thank you very much. Your courage and teamwork has inspired me. I'm so happy to see you're finally free of the greedy villains, the time pirates. I've missed being a part of your adventures, but I have been very busy myself. I found a most curious chest locked with a strong lock of strange workmanship. I purchased it on auction many years ago. Over the years, I've slowly acquired the three keys needed to open the lock. But I wanted your family to do the auction. What? Did you guys hear that? So he said, Good job beating the Time Pirates. Mr. E's back. He said that he couldn't help us with the Time Pirates. Right. I don't know why, but he just was like, because I don't, I can't powerful. help you. They're too powerful. And then he was just like, see ya. Like, I'm not even going to help you, help you anymore. Like, send you messages anymore. But now we finally defeated the Time Pirates. And now he's, he's back. What did he say that he found? A chest. A chest. He said and we have three to do the keys honors. that we have to do the three honors. Three keys? What, what does that mean to do the honors? Well, well he, he said he collected three keys and he has an uh, old treasure chest. And he said that he wanted to have us do the honors of opening it. Is that so what he, he said? found a chest on auction, I think is what he said. Okay. And he spent many years gathering the keys and now he wants us to open it. Okay, let's look. That's so cool. Let's listen to the rest. You must pack for a two week trip. Pack for a two-week trip that will take you to Southern California. Woo! On your way, James and Corbin must complete a challenge reading books on their rivet app contained in this tablet. Good luck. That's the only Whoa. other app that's on Whoa. the tablet. Whoa! Oh, let's see the rivet app! So, he said we're going on a trip to Southern California, and <gasps> James and Corbin, what do you guys have to do? We have we a rivet! You guys have to complete the challenge, the challenge by reading a book on a Rivet app. The Rivet app has books on it. I, let's That's see. cool. Okay, let's do this. Let's, let's get packed, let's get loaded up. He said on the way to Southern California, we'll, we'll complete the challenge. We'll check it out in the van. Everybody get packed. Let's go on an adventure! Okay, it's time to get this adventure started. We're all packed up and loaded up. We got the whole family here. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Ellie, are you ready? We even, yeah. got, we even got Grandma and Grandpa here. And Corbin. And our aunts and uncles. That's right, some aunts and uncles are coming. It's gonna be a big family treasure hunt adventure and see what kind of adventure mystery has in store for us. So we've got the tablet here, and I've got the Rivet app all loaded up, so let's see if maybe Corbin can complete his challenge from Mr. E. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you, you ready to complete the challenge? Okay. So let's see. We've got the app here. Let's go ahead and open that up. And we've got Corbin logged in. And he's got some favorite books. Check it out, you guys. The Beach House Treasure Hunts are now kids' books. Which treasure hunt do you want to do? Aztec Gold, oh. Do you want to do the second treasure hunt, part two? Yeah. Do you want to do this one? That is so cool. Do you want to do, you wanna do it? Mr. E? Yeah, Mr. E sent us this, and there's this app. And it has some of our best videos turned into kids' books. The Beach House family never knows where a treasure hunt is going to take them. Mom and Dad have found a clue in the treasure chest at home. It sends their family to an old house with a heart-shaped sidewalk built in 1897. Mom's parents live there. The, fun, the family is excited to hunt for some new treasure. Cool. When they get to oh, there's a lot of pages. How big is this story? This might take you a little while to read, huh? That's so cool. Do you think you can read the whole book, Corbin? Maybe you can read it to Ellie and Charlie, huh? That would be a good idea. Oh my goodness. Our videos are turned into books. Did Mr. E do that, I wonder? That's 
so weird. I don't know, but I think it, I think it's available for anybody to download. Okay, so that's the crazy part. Our videos, our treasure hunts, have been turned into children's books that you can read and it's available for anybody to download. So basically you can go, go to the app, get the app Rivet, and then R-I-V-E-T, search the beach house and our treasure hunts will come up and it will tell the whole story of everything that we've gone through in all of our treasure hunts. That's so cool. It's a great way to practice reading. It's a really great way to practice reading for kids. Plus, we found out as Corbin was reading it, if you get to a word that's too technical for your child to understand, if it's too technical for you to understand, all you have to do is click the word and it will read it for you and then you can move on to the next part. Cool! Read a story to me, Corbin. Okay. They put a quarter in the slit and turn the towel holder. The wall opens and there is a secret compartment inside the bathroom. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, we've been driving all day. It's hard to travel when I'm pregnant. I don't like it very much, but. You've done great. You gotta give yourself I'm some really credit. I'm really bad mood all I'm day. actually impressed. Well, I guess it's because you slept most of the time. It's easy to sleep on the drive. It's, I impress you when I sleep because I'm not up being grouchy. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> Good anyways. Job sleeping. <laughs> oh. So, anyways, we have the Rivet app, and the kids have been reading from that, and it's really awesome. Yeah, they really love it. And we've been driving to Southern California and all of a sudden... It looks really bright outside, but it's dark and that's just a, a light pole that's making oh, yeah. that tree There's look super bright. Here, you guys gotta see this. Check it out. There's a lamp post up there. That you makes can, it so bright. You can see it right over there, right there. That's a lamp. But everything else is dark. And there's some weird people in this blue car that have been following us this whole drive. <laughs> <laughs> That's Becca's family. We got the whole family with us. Yep. Well, at least a lot of them anyway. We decided to take a lot of them with us, and it's been it's oh. been good so far. Did I say that my phone automatically started navigating? Uh, I think Mr. E is leading us to some house. Really? Yeah, down in Southern California. So I'm just following the navigation. Whoa. Taking us down there. Um, James still has to complete his Rivet app reading challenge. Okay. So let me get that loaded up for him. Okay. And that's all that we have left, right? And then, yeah, and then we've completed Mystery's Challenge, so... Wow. I think it's gonna be really good. I'm really excited to see where he takes us and what's there when we get there. Cool. Why are they bored here? Looks like they're dancing. Without me. <laughs> Corbin's in there. We've been trading off with Corbin and James all day in the car and the van. And Charlie! How's this drive been? Good. Is it too long? Yeah. <laughs> it's too long? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. So James has a couple different reading options, but there's his profile image. He's reading level Aww. three, and he's got options of Valentine's Day surprise or Easter egg hunt. Ooh. Treasure hunt. These are both treasure hunt videos that were turned into books. That's so cool. So you guys could read them too if you have if you just get the Rivet app. And the Rivet app is free, right? Yeah. That's so cool. So here, James has to pick one of these and read it. Maybe you can help him read it in the back. Okay. And I'll keep driving. It's 
tasted good. Ooh, they gotta eat the bunny, it tasted good. Do you remember that? That was so good, I, huh? I saw the video and I saw where that put out. And after I looked at it, and it was like, no! <laughs> it was already like, Just got here. here. We have been traveling. It was a long drive today. Okay. It was so long. All the other kids are asleep in the van. We're gonna bring them in the house, but let's go get checked into this house With real quick. Grandma and Grandpa. So. This is the Airbnb. It looks like it. That Mystery was, must have booked this. It's just the place that he sent us to. This so. This is the address that popped up on Michael's phone randomly. Yeah. It's in California, Southern California. Yeah, so let's see if this door will open, shall we? Look, there's a light in Wait. there. Look. Oh, what if there's something here? There? Oh. I don't know if I can reverse. Can well, let's see if the door's... Hang on. Let's see if the door's unlocked and just try... Oh, it's open. That's right. Uh oh. Are you allergic to the house? <laughs> Charlie, we found Hello. the treasure. Hi, James. Charlie, tell us about this treasure chest that we found. We were finding this treasure chest, and then. That's right. So, last you saw, we entered the home and we saw something amazing, and now I really am excited to show it to you guys. It is. A awesome. huge treasure chest. Check it out, okay? Let's go it's take a look. So, it's right over here. Yeah, it, and it has, has a W a and really a Disney sign. I, I wonder if it means Walt Disney. There's a it, yeah. WD and Morkline, Missouri, Missouri, but there's this big lock. And there's a, it looks like there's like a clue behind it. I remember Mr. E saying yeah. there was a lock. There's, I never noticed that, says Mr. E. So I remember Mr. E saying that in the message yesterday that there was a lock of curious workmanship, a very strong lock that doesn't open, and he's never even opened it. And he bought this ch chest on an auction. So, do you guys remember from Mr. E yesterday in the message that he sent us, how many keys does it take to open this lock? Three. Good job, it was three keys. So he says there's three keys we need to open this chest. And let's read this first clue, shall we? Corbin, since you found the clue, I'm gonna let you read it, okay, buddy? Oh, it's a cool. That's really cool folding. Yeah. Okay. It's actually like hard to open because of the folding. Uh huh. And you don't wanna rip it or else we'll never find the treasure. Okay. You made it. Did reading stories of your family make the trip more fun? Which were your favorite books? Do you know what he's talking about? Yeah, what, the Rivet which, app. The Rivet app. What was your favorite book? Um, The bunny one. Because the, it's super close to Rivet. The Easter Bunny treasure hunt? Yeah. Okay, what was your favorite book? My favorite was that... Uh, part two and part one of that treasure chest. Of oh, the big treasure hunt? Yeah. Cool. Like the one in Mount Pleasant and at our old house. That's right. Hey Rebecca, what do you think of this treasure chest from Mr. E? That is so awesome. Yeah. I think the, this whole setup is like great. Like having this huge beautiful house and we come here and there's a treasure chest. That is so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. That now, so cool. did you see that there was a clue behind the lock? No. Yeah, Corbin found this clue behind the lock. He was just reading it. It says Mr. E. Tonight, did reading stories of your family make the trip more fun? So we were Which just... Which were your favorite books? Yeah, we were just talking about what the favorite books were oh, of the kids. Oh, yeah. So do you want to read the rest of it, yeah. Becca? 
Now for your next challenge. You must obtain the three keys needed to open this chest. I've hidden them in lands of fancy nearby. You must travel to each one in turn. Find the clue, solve the puzzle, and obtain the key. Work together, be true, Mr. E. Okay. And obtain the key. So where do we go today? It says lands of fancy. You must travel to each one in turn. Have we been there? Lands of fancy, what does that find mean? Not what if you have to find the underlying like hidden underlines that you can't see, and you oh. have to try to find. Them. Are, are there any letters capitalized or words underlined or anything? I want to take a look. I've hidden them in lands of fancy nearby. Travel to each one in turn. Find it through some puzzle. Ooh, is there a? Tons of theme parks like Disneyland and yeah, Lands of Fancy. That would make sense. Well, what's the nearest so one? It says nearby, so what's... Yeah, Knott's Berry Farm. Yeah. Knott's Berry Farm is like... Are we really close to Knott's Berry Farm? We are really close to Knott's Berry Farm. It's like five minutes away. Is that the closest one? Yeah. Yeah. So should we go? Maybe that's the one we're supposed to go to today. Yeah. Well, the worst thing that could happen is we go there and then we find out that we shouldn't have gone there, but we'll still have fun. Well, let's go try it Let's then. go. Guys, check it out. Beach and Orange. Beach Boulevard and Orange Avenue. <laughs> Sounds like some sort of monopoly thing. Like <laughs> That's They went out to go search for the Mr. E clue. So we're hoping they're gonna be getting some good luck. Or good luck. Some good luck. Some good luck. I need some good luck. That's fine. Okay guys, here we are at Knott's Berry Farm. We got into the park and we're gonna see if we can find a key or a clue or something from Mr. E. So let's start looking around, okay guys? We got Corbin. James with me. Yeah, there's a certain ride I want to go on. Should we ride a ride while we're looking? Okay, yeah. what ride? Let's go. Probably over here somewhere where that's going. That's it. Okay, let's go.
Okay guys, I think we found out where the boarding is. It's this really cool like Aztec pyramid ride. The James and Corbin are super excited. So let's see if we can get on this ride now. It's called Jaguar. This is gonna be fun, guys. Ooh! Whoa! That's cool. That's cool painting. Okay, guys, now don't forget, what are we here really looking for? The keys. The keys, so make sure to keep your eyes open for a key. Oh, whoa. Because we might still find the key. We have to find that. That's the whole reason we're here. Oh, skeletons. That's creepy. You guys ready? Yeah! Okay, let's do it. Uh-oh, guys. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> for mystery so keep your eyes peeled it could be anywhere okay guys this is the kitty land at Knott's Berry Farm they have a lot of fun kids rides and but, just like but, the but for like ones. Ellie and Charlie little kids love it yeah but they're also really fun for grown-ups too they are really fun do you think that mystery maybe hid the key somewhere over here around here and they're like more experiencing what it's yeah. like I was like, oh, I got a pretty tight hat. It'll, it'll stay on my head. That's why I asked for them to bring it to the thing. You are a smarter like, man yeah. than I am. It flew right off my head. You I, lost it. I did I lose think it. So don't blame me. I'm not blaming you, Corbin. I'm not blaming. I'm blaming myself because I didn't think that it might would fall off. So, but I kind of want to walk around and see if maybe it flew off somewhere and I could find it. I'm gonna look around and just see if maybe I can get lucky. 
Oh, my favorite beach and hat is gone. Maybe I have to get another one now. I'll, I'll have to go online on our website, The Treasure Family. I can't believe I lost it. <laughs> Alright guys, what ride are we riding next? I don't know. Corbin had a good idea. You just said you wanted to ride Montezuma's Revenge. <laughs> you said it. I heard you say it. I was joking. You were joking? Well, I think you were serious. <laughs> hey guys, the mystery wants us to ride on Montezuma's Revenge. Maybe that's the challenge and he hid the key no. somewhere on Montezuma's Revenge. So we have to do the no. really scary ride that we're just no. no. But maybe that's the one we're supposed to go on to find no. the key. Okay, let me ask you this. If the key is on the ride, would you go do it? No. No? You can then go. we'll never find the key. You can go. Saying I can go on it and you guys aren't going to? Maybe I have to go on the ride then. Okay. All right guys, here's the thing. This is the first spin on that last ride that we just went on was right above me. And I think that my hat fell down somewhere around here. This is it. It was right around this spin right here where I lost it. So it might be close. Look around, guys. Is there? Did you guys find it? Where? Where? Oh, it's it! Haha! There it is! My hat! I can see it right here. Can you see it now? Yeah! <laughs> okay, let's go talk to the train conductor and see if he can grab it for us. Okay, I see the train. Let's go get on the train and see if we can grab it. <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna get my hat back. <laughs> so my dad lost his hat. <laughs> We saw it. Maybe we can ride on the train. Just around this corner, you can see it like five feet off the track. Okay, thank you. Are you really? Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. It's just around this corner. Just around on the other side, yeah. You got it? Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Have a good one. All right. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> we got his hat back. We got my hat back. Yes. Okay. It's a little bit. <laughs> it's a little bit dusty, but it still looks good. Good thing you found your hat. It would have been lost forever. It would have been gone forever. Yeah. When it fell off my head, I just had a feeling it was in an area we should probably be able to get to. So, I'm just glad I have it back. Beach in. The beach house. You guys know you can get your own beach and hat on our website, thetreasurefamily.com. Go check it out. We're going to walk through that cave. What's in the cave? I don't know. We haven't been in there yet. Okay, are we looking for the key? Is that why yeah. we're here? Yeah. Okay, be careful. You guys see anything? We didn't find anything in the kids, so we have to keep looking. All right, so we've been all around the park. We've ridden on rides and looked for this key and we can't find it anywhere from Mystery. So let's go back and find mom 
Maybe mom found the key. She went to go get some food with the rest of the family, so let's see if she's had any luck, okay? All right, let's go. Did you guys find a map? Yes, this is a real map of where we're that at. That was lunch. It was so good. Good. Lunch and map. So we are right here. Whoa. And Ghost this, town map. This shows everything in fun facts about everything that's happened in awesome. this town. Awesome. Any, any leads on finding a key from Mr. E? No. No? Becca, gonna Becca's in the bathroom. I'm gonna hold on to this because I think it's gonna come in handy. It might. Good call. Yes. Thanks, so. Jeff. Good thinking. What do you think of that, James? Is that cool? Ryan used to have one of those. He used to have like that. Yeah. All right, where are we going, you guys? We're going on the Calico Co Railroad. Woo! <laughs> All right. Everybody's excited? Wow, Charlie, look at all that. Look at all that water. Is that cool? Oh, he's got a messy face. Here we go. Okay, we got a big group here. Special seat for the special kid. <laughs> this is gonna be special, friends. Yeah. Time for a train ride. I like this. This is a fun train ride. Choo choo, we're all in here. Let's go through. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. Got Andrew and James and Corbin and Grandma and Grandpa and Charlie. Yeah, Charlie, we love you. His dad's got the train conductor hat on. <laughs> Shouldn't you be on that side of things, Grandpa? <laughs> oh, man. Hey guys, don't forget, we're here for a specific purpose. What are we looking for? We uh, are trying to keep our eye out for a key. For a key from Mr. E. Mr. Yeah. E. Key. Somewhere hidden in the whole park. The one that goes park. to the treasure chest somewhere. That's right. Yeah, so, our eyes peeled, okay guys? Yeah. It is like a needle in a haystack. If you see anything that looks curious. Well, let me know if you see anything, okay? Are you nervous? Is that why you're biting your fingers? <laughs> Corbin's nervous. <laughs> no, I'm not nervous. I've been on it before. Yeah. I'm so the kids filmed a different video already where they rode on a whole bunch of the favorite rides and they talked about what their favorite rides were. So go check that out on Treasure Family. Meanwhile, Becca and Ryan filmed a fun jelly taste test. Check it out on the Becca and Ryan show. Here we go. Another ride, still no key, Charlie. What are we gonna do now, buddy? We couldn't find a key in that ride. Why? I don't know, did you find it? It's in the water. Is the key in the water? Yeah. Uh-oh. I don't see a key in the water. But there's pennies in the water. There's pennies, but no keys. Let's keep looking, okay, buddy? Yeah. 
You gotta find it next time. Okay. Okay. Keep looking, I guess. All right, we're gonna wait for the next ride, but while we're waiting, let's see if we can find a key in this area. Do you guys wanna look around everywhere and see if we can find a key? Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can find something. What are we doing now? We're trying to find the stagecoach. And we're trying to find the key also. You think maybe we'll find a key on the stagecoach? It keeps saying thank you, not thank you. <laughs> Ooh, we got seatbelts on the stagecoach. You guys ready for this ride? We got some horses down there. This is going to be really fun. You guys know where mom is? Where's mom and grandma? Inside. They're inside, that's right. We're moving, guys. Here we go, see ya. Did you guys know that uh, like 200 years ago, this is how people used to travel all the time. They didn't have cars, so they'd ride in a stagecoach. But sometimes they wouldn't even have a stagecoach. Sometimes they'd have to walk. Pretty cool. I think we might be able to see the horses from here. You guys see those horses all the way up there? That's what's pulling us. That's how we're moving right now. Is that cool? Yeah. There's a little tiny car. Look, there we go. Look. Yeah, that's Check it out. This is pretty awesome. Wonder where Ryan and Jessica and Andrew went. They went to go do their own fun. Jessica's filming her own video on you. Jessica's workshop. Little tiny car. Go look. Yeah. You know why he's following us? Why? Take a wild guess. Any ideas why? Oh, look at that, guys. Check it out. <laughs> Does that look scary? That would be fun. Going up and down on that thing. I want to go on that. I want to go on that. So he's following us just in case the horse poops and he has to pick it up. That's right, that's why he's got a garbage can. Nature calls, guys. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> uh oh, there's some more. Yep. You gotta go, you gotta go, huh? Yep. It didn't break. Oh, you really? <laughs> These are some cool rides. Alright guys, find a spot to sit. 
What is this thing? It's a sky cabin. Sky cabin. You think we'll get a good look around the area? That's fine. <laughs> there he goes. No <laughs> okay, we are back with the decision okay, to be made. Okay, fine. I'll go on Montezuma's Revenge. He keeps deciding that he doesn't want to do Montezuma's Revenge because it's too it scary. So but you're not tall enough, my dear. So. Bye, Charlie, you're not tall enough either. Yeah, yeah. Corbin is. Upside down. So, I do we want to go check it out, Corbin? Yeah. Are you sure you're brave enough? Okay, the day's almost over. It's starting to get dark out. So we don't have a lot more time to find that key, but maybe we'll get lucky here on Montezuma's Revenge and find something, okay? Maybe because you're facing your fear. Are you scared? No. Hey Corbin, are you prepared? Serious right now, this is gonna be the scariest ride you've ever been on, buddy. Just you and me, Corbin's the only one brave enough to even try it. Here we go. It might, and it might go upside down. We'll have to see. Corbin, we just finished Montezuma's Revenge and I realized we forgot to do something. We forgot to look for a, for a key from Mr. E. Remember? That's why we're here. Should we go back and look and see if maybe we can find a key? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Look everywhere, guys. Look everywhere. 
Look everywhere. I see, I see something. Where? <gasps> Whoa! Where was that? Right there. Right there. On the route? Yeah. This is where the ride was. We just got off the ride and maybe we found it. You think Mr. E put it here at the end of the ride? Yeah. Is that the key we're looking for? Whoa. Can I hold it? What if this is for you, Corbin? What if this is a reward for you facing your fears and riding on the scariest ride? It's not scariest. <laughs> it was scary. You were very scared to ride on it earlier. I wasn't scared. I know, but you faced your fears and you did it. I want to see this. Maybe I should put the thing in because I faced my fears. I think that's a great idea. Can Ellie hold it? What do you think, Ellie? Is that cool? Yeah, it's just T-S. Oh. T-S. No, it's 12. <laughs> Guys, let's open the chest. Let's yeah. see what's inside. Okay, let me take another look at that key really fast, Corbin. It doesn't fit. So I remember Mr. E saying that there were three keys. Yeah, so, there is a 12 on that and a 12 on We haven't on really that. inspected this treasure chest. It's just not me. <gasps> What? what? Oh my gosh, okay, I gotta see that again in slow motion. Hang on, let me see that key. So, you tried to put the key on like this and it didn't work. So instead, you put the key on like that. Yeah, I noticed that first. Whoa. I noticed that first. Now what? Does it open? Oh, there's another! Ooh, is it working? No? Hmm. Here, let me try. Man, this is crazy. Do it. Doesn't seem to be working. Maybe that's what we need the next key for. Okay. No, it, it has Hi, like, Ellie. It, no, Dad, look, it has the pattern for like this. Uh huh. So I think maybe it is just it's hard to turn it. Maybe I. What is it? Let's let James give it a try really fast here. Is it turning? Don't break it now. Did it work? What? <gasps> wow, the whole thing's coming apart. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that is so cool. <gasps> Look at that hole, guys. I, I know what to do. Uh, mm. yeah. Is it fat? Uh, So do you think that there's one more key, or do you think that the one key has three purposes? Yeah, that's the way to close it. You're closing it again. Or do now we need to go find another key? Then this part is the last, because this is the part that says one. So do you think that this one key has three keys on it? Yeah. Miss Streak said we needed three keys. Can I see it? So, I'm not seeing anything in this that would fit into this little hole here. So, maybe we need to look around a little bit more and see if we can find something else. We haven't really explored this box because there's a couple of things on this box we haven't really looked at. This WD, for example. Walt Disney. You think it stands for Walt Disney? Yeah. What does this mean though? Marceline, Missouri. Does anybody want to look up Marceline, Missouri and tell me what yeah. what they find? Uh, hmm. Okay. Let's do a little bit more research on that today and see what we can find. But for now, let's see if maybe we can find another key. We haven't shown you guys the, the place that we're staying at. Do you guys want to see it really fast? Yeah. Take a look around. It's all like Star Wars themed, which is kind of fun. You've already seen C-3PO and everything, but there's a air hockey table, got a dining room. Here's the adults' bedrooms. Here's a big backyard, which is really cool. Do you guys want to show everybody your bedroom? Yeah! Let's go show, show us your bedroom. Ellie and Charlie normally sleep tomorrow. They always take our blankets. This is the kids' bedroom. <laughs> they always take our blankets and throw it off the bed. Uh huh. Yeah. Cool. And then here's my bedroom and Rebecca's bedroom. We got this really cool artwork on the wall. It's a little bit messy, this so. This is one place where we get changed. Yeah. And then here's Grandma and Grandpa's bedroom. They have all sorts of cool art on the wall and even Darth Vader watching over them at night. Hey. <laughs> Look at this. 
Okay. It's right there. What? Oh, that's kind of cool. Millennium Falcon's coming out of the wall. And guess what? Right there out yeah, there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys. They have all these really cool like Star Wars books. Have you guys looked at the Star Wars books at all? Maybe there might be a clue inside one of these books. Oh, that would be. Really I have cool. read one. Did you? I read the droid one. Did you guys know that last night someone tried to break into our house? I found a clue. <gasps> what? Ellie found a clue, guys. It's right here. No hey. way! <laughs> cool! Here. Be it's, gentle with it. Yeah, maybe I should try to open it because that might be a little bit too hard. Wow. It was just inside the book? Mm hmm. I wonder if there's more clues here. Could I see? Let's see. Can you need help opening it? Oh, no, she got it. Good job, Belly. Ooh. It's not the same clue as before, is it? It no. It's not. I don't know. It kind of looks like it's folded the same a little bit. It yeah. is folded the same. Can I read it? Okay. I'll let Carbon read it. The next key you seek mm -hmm. may seem a universe away, but it's closer than you think. Go to a land of fancy known. For film studios and special effects. Let the magic continue and look all in the hidden places for the key. A um, spell may be needed to reveal its location. I think it's Harry Potter World. Or Why? Land. Why? Yeah, because that's in California. It's really close from here. Okay. Like 30 minutes. That's in here. But, but why do you think Harry Potter Land? Because it says you need a spell to be needed. And, and magic. magic. And magic. And universe. Universal. Universe. Oh. Universal Studios. Universal Studios. Universal. Whoa, I think you're right. Well, should we get ready to go? Yeah. We have a wand that sticks out. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Good job, guys. We're here! And guess yeah. what? I decided to bring this because we were going to Southern California and I was like, maybe there's a chance we'll go there! <laughs> so I'm all dressed in my Harry Potter stuff. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Bumblebee. What are we doing here? Thank you so much. We're at well, all of Andrew. Walk right down this way, please. Come right towards me, please. That's perfect right there. Thank you so much. Corbin, what are we doing here? Getting wands. Getting wands? Are we looking for something else? A key. A key. A key. That's oh, right. Oh, this is Wizards and Muggles. Welcome to all of Andrew. Your wand fitting experience will begin very shortly. So we're just going to load you, uh, your parties first. After they're situated, we'll load the rest of the room. Oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah, three wands. That's very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great one. <laughs> and then right there, kind of right here facing me as well. Brilliant. Fantastic. Okay, there's a fine one since 380. Easy. I'm the wand keeper. You are here to witness a wand fitting. You're very welcome here. But I ask for concentration, please. 
This is momentous for a witch or wizard. It's a very complicated process as well. Now, I see you have a wand, dear. Yeah? Which wand do you have? Oh, you have a collection brewing. Yes. yes. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, are you a wand maker? Yes. <gasps> That's quite wonderful, my dear. Excellent workmanship. What's your name? Rebecca. Rebecca. Do you yet have an Ollivander's wand? This one. Uh, Miss Lovegood's wand, yeah. yes, but not one that's Rebecca's wand. No. no, I think it's time. A wand maker needs an Ollivander's wand. So, can someone hold Rebecca's collection for me? Uh, come right this way, Rebecca. Okay. You're going to be right here in front of the desk. Oh, well, there you have it. Here we are. Now, stand here, hold your wand, hand over the desk. Now, you dear, you also have a strong magic for me. What's your name? Chantelle, do you have a wand yet? No, it's clearly time. I'd like you to join with them. Now, uh, hold your wand hand over the desk. Now, as you may or may not know, every wand here at Solid Earthers contains within it a core of a magical substance. Uh, we use unicorn, hair, phoenix tail feathers, and the heart strings of dragons. Now, no two wands are the same. Just as no two phoenixes, dragons, or unicorns are the same. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> and you'll never get such good results with another one. Uh, you put your hands up, my friend. So we are here to find yours. Yes, not Luna Lovegoods. Now, we'll start with Chantel. Not tight, Rebecca. I promise we'll get to you, dear. Now, this is a wand of ivy. It is uh, 13 inches long and uh, rather flexible. Quite fun. There you are. Now, let's do something different. I'd like you. Bring a wand box down from that wall, alright? You can choose any box you like. Name your wand, say Accio Wand Box. Accio Wand Box. Alright, very exciting. Uh, that is a no for you, alright? That's not your one. But again, lovely work, clearly powerful, and easily fixed, right? Uh, for Clara. Now, we know the wand chooses the witch, not the other way. That much has always been clear. What's not as clear, of course, is why. So, we press on. find in here, Corbin? One of the most powerful ones in the world. Which one are you getting, buddy? Uh, Professor Dumbledore. Dumbledore's wand? Yep. Does that wand have a name? Called the Elder Wand. This is, from this is my wand, which is Harry Potter. James is getting Harry Potter's wand. And Ellie, what wand are you getting? Hermione's. You're getting Hermione's wand? I want to see it. Ooh. Very nice. Cool, Corbin. Drew, stay focused on that key. You did it! You did it! Good job. Good job. Okay guys, so we've been all over Universal Studios. We are right now in Harry Potter land. You can see the beautiful Hogwarts castle behind us, but we still haven't found this key yet from Mr. E. So we need to look around the park. I'm gonna ask these guys if they have any ideas. Do you remember what the clue earlier today said from Mr. E? Find a key. Said find a key, right. But did it give us any clues or no, hints as to where the clue, where no, the key might yet. be? No, not yet. No clues? I seem to remember it saying something about magic or spells. Well, here's something that I think. Well, I think that because there are spells you can cast here, we did get some wands, and today's our only day here, so we might as well just go to cast wands and be on the lookout as we go. That's good, because didn't those wands come with maps? Yeah. Let's look at some of these maps and see if it might give us a clue to where we should go. Is this one Ellie's? Mine. Okay, this is that Ellie's. 
Yep, this one's Ellie's. Okay. This does have a map in it. I want to look at that map. Maps have keys. Charlie, no! Is there any hint on the map? To... Oh, here's... oh, it's where we need to go. Ellie got here's one. Ellie's for Mighty. James, let me see the wand you got. Harry Potter. You got Harry Potter's wand earlier. And this one That's very cool. Hermione Granger's, but actually Ellie Beach's wand. <laughs> and here's so there's, the map. The map tells us where the cool spots are to use the magic, right? <gasps> Something's written on there. What? <gasps> oh, did we get a use map? Wait. No, what does that we say? didn't get a use map. Okay. What does that say, you guys? It says key. Key. Key ten. Key ten. 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 Where's 10? Okay, we gotta go find whatever. It's 10 is over somewhere okay, this let's way. Let's go find wherever it is. There are spots where there. you have to cast spells and they're on the ground. There's like things. Maybe there might be a key laying on one of those. Oh, let's go. How do you think they got that word written on the map? Did you see the map? No. There was words written on the map that said key. Maybe. Do you think Mr. E wrote key that? 10. Do you think Mr. E wrote on our map? Maybe or maybe he told he them to give. Maybe and he, he told them to give us that on the map, and he uh, told them to give us that specific wand. You're right. We have wands. We do have the wands. And actually, I remember when we were getting the keys, Becca. You weren't there for this. When we were getting the keys, she kept, or not the the keys, the wands. The yeah. worker kept switching out the boxes. Really? Like the exact box that we brought. She switched it for a different box. Really? She really did. And so maybe she was, maybe she instructed from Mr. E, from Mr. e to give us a specific oh. box that had a specific message in it. Wow. So we gotta look around. I know there's a lot of different places you can cast spells here. We gotta Wait, find the right one map. that corresponds with the map. Can I see the map? Debris and bangs. Okay, it's over there. It's over there. Is there a plaque here? This is a map of all of the different places that you can cast spells. It's on number 10. So look for the Is it that one? It's like this. Oh, there's cauldrons here. And what's the spell? What's the words for the spell? Silencio. Do you know what that means? Silencio. It means that the bubbles will stop making noise. I think Ellie did it. Good job, Ellie. Your magical spell worked. Are we in the right place? Silencio. Silencio. It worked. Good job. Now, what does the map say? Is number 10 Silencio? Are we in the right place? Silencio. Yes! We are in the right place. So let's look around for a key. Whoa! We found it! Wait, it was the lock that I said it earlier. The door is just a trick. You found the key? That's exactly what we needed to open up the rest of the lock. So we followed the map and there was a key here. Whoa! <laughs> Maybe that's, you are supposed to Let me see. That. I want to see that. Yeah, that's different than the other one that we found. That was just a trick lock. I was right. Whoa. Wow. That, that wasn't there before. No, it wasn't. That was not there before. I maybe it magically appeared with these wands. Yeah, maybe when you cast a spell, it triggered the key to appear. From Mr. E? Wow. Wow, cool. Well, should we get home and then... Okay, it is the next day. We are back from Harry Potter World and we are at our Airbnb. But before we take the key that we found magically, yep, this key that Sobren has, before we take this key and try it out in the lock, we have to tell you an incredible, crazy story. 
yesterday something happened to Ryan and I'm gonna put the camera on him and he's gonna explain to you what happened. Yesterday. Yesterday. I have glass all over me right now. Look at what happened to his phone. This is Ryan's phone. This has a protective screen on it right here. That did nothing. And the glass, and look, like I wanna flip this over to show you, but it might get glass everywhere. It had a protective case on it, it had a uh, protective screen shield on it. This is what happened. So yesterday at some point, Brian, he thought he saw mystery there at Universal Studios. And he was looking at him and because it was at a little bit of a distance and there were a lot of people in between. So did you get a picture of him or a video of Both. him? Both. Both. Yeah. On this phone. And then we went on a ride. I came back and this had been destroyed. Okay, so when we went on the bus tour, we left Charlie's stroller behind and when we came back, his phone was on the ground by the stroller just like that. Completely destroyed. I mean, seriously, there's glass on it. And the back the of it is box perfectly is fine, fine, but the front of it is just smashed. And I don't know if we'll be able to recover those pictures or videos like or I not. Like I press it and it doesn't even work. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's even It wouldn't be able to show anything anyway because the screen is completely smashed. The weird part is that it wasn't just stolen. It was smashed, like destroyed. So anyways, I don't know if we're gonna be able to recover that stuff or if it's completely gone, but I do know one thing. I don't think Mr. E wants us to get a picture or a video of him. So I, whatever is in, in Ryan's brain Ryan is the last. Because he doesn't want a video or picture of him, and so he tried to delete it, but he couldn't, yeah. and so he smashed the phone. Yeah. Maybe that's the reason. Well, whatever's in Ryan's brain is the last picture we might ever see of Mr. E. Okay. And I'll get it out of my brain. Uh, <laughs> I can try. Get up! <laughs> Wait, let's wait for dad. Dad is outside. We're getting ready to go. Every day we just get ready to go and we're not quite sure where we're gonna be. Guess what? Yesterday on the Pins and Things slash Becca Beach channel, because I changed it to Becca Beach, I announced what gender this baby is gonna be. Check it out. I'm so pregnant. I feel so pregnant already and I'm not even halfway. That's weird. That's what happens when this is your fifth child. You get bigger quicker. <laughs> so anyways, if you want to know what gender this baby is, go to the Becca Beach channel and you will see the gender reveal video and it's on there. And if you like vlog style of our family, the fun things that we do, I would go to the Treasure Family channel because that's where we do all of our vlogs and fun challenges and things that we used to do on this channel that now we're doing mostly skits. If you guys wanna see us playing games or other activities, challenges, vlogging, that is now on the Treasure Family channel. We have another channel, that's right. It's called Treasure Family, so go check it out. With the phone getting smashed while we were gone, we can only guess what happened with it. Either it got smashed from Mr. E that didn't want us to see his pictures, or maybe somebody else took it and got it ruined, or maybe somebody ran over it and they didn't even notice that they ran but over it. But even if somebody know. ran over it or something, it wouldn't be this broken. Because this has a protective case. This is called an otter box. Yeah. It, it should have protected it. It's almost like intentional destroying it. You That's guys? why we thought that. Okay, I was just outside looking at the van trying to get some work done on it and I saw this note on the front porch. Really? From Mr. E, yeah. Now you have to hear what it says. It says, how often have I warned you against seeking me? Oh no! Do not attempt to capture me or those in my employ on your camera. Brian failed wow. to keep this counsel and has faced the consequences. Oh my goodness. I am not the treasure you are searching for. Fail me again and your quest will be terminated. <gasps> Mr. E. Whoa. Look at that. He does not want us to find him or see him. Whoa. Because there's been a few other times where we thought we yeah. were catching him and every single time he's always said, stop, don't do that. Yeah. And we've gotten in trouble. It sounds like he's taking things to the next level by destroying Ryan's phone, any evidence well, that like, he has. There's something that we keep forgetting about here and that is 
We've never actually known Mr. E. Like, we don't know him personally. Right. This is just a he fan that watches our guy. videos. Like, he could be a bad guy. But he's given us so many good things too, though. Yeah. It's kind of like, we don't and really know. Well, the yeah. thing is, like, we're really trusting a stranger by doing this. Yeah. I don't think he'd ever hurt us. No. But, like, he's just like what happened with the phone, he really does want to keep a secret. Like, he wants right. to keep it a secret who he is. He wants to stay anonymous. And so, I don't know why that's so important, but apparently it is to him. He never wants us to know exactly who he is. I don't know what it is, but okay, all I know is that let's not try and see or sp seek out Mr. E or actually seeing him or anything. And let's just try and open up the treasure chest and see what we can see because we did find the next key and we haven't looked at the, so we, we haven't tried to open chest? it. What let's do it doing? right now. Right now? Yeah. Okay. It goes back inside the house. We're all inside the house and we are ready to see if we can open up this chest of treasure. So let's see that key again. Look at the difference in these two keys. Whoa. This one right here is way smaller. But this is the one that we found at Universal. Whoa. Wait, so that one we found. This is the one we found at Knott's Berry right after the ride. Yeah, and this one we just yesterday found at Universal. Right. Wow. So, so yesterday the lock and it lowered this so there's a hole here. If you look down here in this hole, there's an opening right there. Can you see that? It's really dark. Oh, that was the opening that we took this oh, to this. Right. The lower, okay. But now, this doesn't fit in here, so is there any other holes on the oh, side? Look on the side, right here. Oh. Kind of has like a screw on the inside. Yeah. And there's like a thing that you can like fit this in. And oh, does it fit? <gasps> yeah, it does. It does, Whoa. It does fit. Whoa, this is such an interesting lock. Oh my goodness, this I've is I've never so, seen one like this before. It takes multiple different keys. Yeah. Does it, does it turn or does it do anything? Oh, it's getting in. It's turning? <gasps> oh! What's it doing? It's making it to go lower. Is it lowering is, it? Is it doing, no, it's still in the same place. No. It seems like it's tightening something. Is it tightening? I don't even know. It's weird. Wait, do that again. Go that way, yeah. <gasps> what? Oh my goodness. So now you twist the key, James. Okay, now go the other way. Yep, go that way. You can see inside there, it's kind of blocked off right now. As he's t turning the key, it'll open it up. This is so weird. I was watching inside, you guys gotta see this. So it's not anything on the outside that, that's happening to the lock, it's the inside. Right. Now, do you see oh. inside? See how it's moving? Oh, it's opening. It's opening up that the keyhole thing. on the inside. I think we need the third key to put inside this keyhole. Well, it's so said we can three keys. It. That's it right. Say three keys from Mr. E. Okay. And he had already found all these. Which makes me wonder what's inside this treasure chest, and did he really wait to give us the honors to do it, or is what's there that? something? <gasps> what's that? <gasps> oh, that's weird and crazy timing. We should probably answer it. Okay, let's go see. Careful, though. I know. Look through this hole. If it, yeah, look through the people. See if there's. I want to get a look. There's no one there. There might be no. There is a car parked in front of our house, though. Maybe there's no one around. Hmm. Yeah, whoever was there is gone now. But there is a car. But that's kind of been parked there all day. There's like a detailing thing yeah. across the street or something. Okay. Okay. I was just out there a minute ago and I didn't see anybody. And that car's been parked out there all day. So let's see if there is a note. But you guys just stay over there, okay? I don't see anything. Okay. Mystery! Whoa. 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 Okay, everybody Let's read back it. inside. Back Let's read it. Don't accidentally see somebody that we shouldn't. Yeah. What if this is the clue to the third key? Oh, that would be so cool. We are so close. We've gotten two of the three keys that he originally told us about. Look how this is folded. We've 
That's Look on that. all of them. Yeah, but it's really seen cool. that before, but it's on all of them. Okay. It's cool. The key you seek will be found near the beach or ocean or sea. There is a lot of water nearby this world of fancy. Aquatic life abounds here. Learn of them and how we are all connected. By the sand and sun, spend the day and seek the final key to open the mysterious treasure chest. Wait. Mr. E. Guys, well, okay. I think he's talking about the, the beach. beach or ocean. It says the beach or ocean. Should we go to the beach then? Let's go to the beach each. Let's go get away. Hey, say things I'm going to say. What? <laughs> but what beach is he talking about? That's a really good question. Yeah, because what beach that's is it? A that's a serious question because there are, there are so beaches many beaches around here. Okay, what beach are we going to, guys? Beach or ocean, ocean or sea. Aquatic life abounds here. So, is there any beaches that have a lot of animals? And sun. What do you think, Ellie? It says mystery on the bottom, too. Well, okay, yeah, that's like, just the beach really doesn't narrow it down. Yeah. But mm -hmm. if you if you think about where aquatic life abounds, maybe there's like a, an aquatic. Oh, like a seaside like aquarium. A, yeah, or, an aquarium. Or maybe a beach that has a lot of animals. I can look up beaches in the area that okay. might have a lot of wildlife, a lot of sea creatures, okay. or maybe sea lions or something. And oh, yeah. We can see Maybe what's nearby. They have a lot of crabs and turtles. Ooh, that would be cool. so fun. To well, like then learn about them and get look, around some animals. And let's all get ready and go to the beach cool. then. And it's perfect for homeschool for the kids too. So let's go and let's do it. Cool. High five, everybody. Good job. Find a good one. Let's go find a good beach. Yeah. Wait, that was a very good high five. <laughs> <laughs> Better high five. Better high five. That's Whoa. a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Awesome. Ah. Ouch. <laughs> All right, we're almost to the ocean. Almost to the ocean. We're right at the ocean. Ice by the ocean, right ahead of us. Me too. degrees out, t-shirt, shorts, beautiful waves, but the water is cold, so we are not going in the water, but we are going to be looking around and trying to see if we can find a clue or a key or something from Mr. E while we're here at the beach. Let's have some fun. Ah! It's cold! <laughs> Found anything from mystery? No. Find any keys or anything? Maybe it might be in the sand with a crisscross. Oh, look for an X marks the spot. That's a good idea, James. Charlie. Hi. Do you like the beach, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. 
Is he helping us? Building a wall. Building a wall because the water will come in and flood it if we don't. Yeah. Hey Ellie, crazy hair. <laughs> Where's Becca? Oh, there she is. Hi. Hi. Have fun? Uh oh, did James get dunked? Uh oh, is he laughing though? Oh, I guess he's laughing. I think he did get dunked. <laughs> He's getting so wet. I brought a change of clothes for Ellie and Charlie, but I did not bring one for James and Cora. Oh, I'm really glad that you brought a change of clothes. We're gonna probably need it. I know. <laughs> for the drive home at least. Oh, You're man. beautiful. Damn. How's this building project going? Oh, you guys are going deep. Yeah, you can see water in there. Wait, did the wave come all the way up here or are you no. just digging that deep? We're digging that deep. So when you dig too deep, you find yeah. water at the We're beach. trying to build a... Put it, put it, put oh, it. No. I'm guessing that you dug right here too. Yeah. <laughs> but then the water got them. A little bit too close to the ocean. Is that your swimming pool, Ellie? <laughs> did you find, dude? What is that? I want to see. Oh. Is that a shell? I don't know. It looks but like the cool. shell of a crab. But you're, is that, cool. did you find that while you were looking for the key? Yeah. Good. Good job. We got to keep looking though. Yeah. There's a curious thing over here, Corbin. Oh, there's a crab shell. Look over there, Corbin. There's some water. Should we go look over there? Maybe there's an X that marks the spot. Maybe they peed it. Is it warmer? It's a little bit warmer. Yeah, it's not freezing cold like the ocean. Yeah, the ocean. Another one! <gasps> What's that? Oh, that's just garbage. I oh. thought it was a jellyfish or something. Oh. Kind of looks like a jellyfish. Yeah, it does. There's a lot of a lot of bird tracks over here. Those are bird tracks. I don't see anything from Mr. E here. We'll have to keep looking, I guess. We have to dig. Oh, but where? These marks are the bird's footprints. What'd you find now? Bone. A bone this time. Yeah. Getting closer to a key. Yep. This is mom's baby. And this is mom's. Oh, that's so sweet, Ellie. And that's one too. Uh-huh. Heart. 
Oh, oh Ellie found something. Ellie, what did, what did you find, babe? It's a cool shell. A cool shell? Cool! Have you found a key yet? No. You're still looking, right? What? <laughs> her pants are soaking pants on wet. Her brown pants on her brown. Looking like a moon, your pants on the ground. Who knows that song? It's called Rachel Pants YouTube. on the Ground. <laughs> <laughs> what did you find? This. What is that? A feather. You found a feather? Uh oh. There it is. But did you find a key? We're looking for a key! Keep looking, okay buddy? Okay. Hey Ryan! Yeah? Um, you seem a little bit shorter than usual. I've just been standing here for a while. Why are you so short? I don't know. Everybody look at how small Ryan is. Do you see how tiny this poor guy is? Why are you so tiny? I'm ah, ah, in a sinkhole! Ah, quick dad! Quick dad! Oh no! You're so tiny! <laughs> I think I'm just getting deeper. Don't get washed away to sea, Ryan. No! Okay, seriously. How are you getting in so deep? I just... I'll show you. <laughs> no! The tide's coming in! Alright, James. Any luck on finding that key? Dig it as deep as I can to find it. Still no key down there, huh? Yep, but it's getting pretty cool. Found some cool shells? Yeah. Really? No key? No key. Ah! I guess I'm just building a sandcastle right now. Ryan, you're gonna be stuck here forever. Oh, that was scary. Ah, I did it! Yay! He's free! <laughs> Are they brave enough? High above your head, high above your head. Just start tossing it above and throw it closer out closer. All right guys, so we're heading out of the beach area. I think we might drive a little further down the beach, but it's starting to get dark already. We've been here for several hours and still didn't find any keys or clues or anything from Mystery. We were looking for an X marks at the spot or something, but we didn't find anything so far. So we're gonna keep looking a little bit and see if maybe we can still get lucky. Hey guys, so we are back from the beach. It was a long day of searching and hunting and trying to find keys from Mr. E. And playing on the beach. It was a lot of fun. so dirty. We had a good time. <laughs> but we're also kind of like, what the heck? Why didn't we find anything? We followed the clue. Yeah. I mean, as far as I can tell, it led us to the beach. It's kind of been a long night, actually. Yeah. Well, right after we left the beach, <sighs> well, as we were kind of driving along, 
um, the our van that we've been driving has had some mechanical issues. It literally broke down and got us barely to our driveway. It, like, like if it would have stopped even ten seconds before, we wouldn't have made it. It to stalled the on the freeway and died in traffic, and I had to turn it off and turn it back on, and it barely got us home at the top of the road. As I was driving down the street, the gas pedal stopped working, and we coasted. It stopped responding. We coasted into the driveway, and we're like, well, the van died in our driveway. And we barely and we're stuck. made it home. So, yeah, it's been kind of a crazy <gasps> night. <laughs> and we're all showered and not sandy or disgusting anymore from the beach. That's one thing I don't like about the beach all those van. <laughs> uh, in the morning, we're going to get up and yes. reevaluate that clue for mystery and see if there's any other meaning that we missed. We must have missed something. So hopefully yeah. we'll be able to figure it out and maybe we miss something and we can find the key once and for all. Yeah, because I feel like everywhere we go, when we find a clue for mystery, there's always some, like, there's always a lot of people around and we find a clue, but it's like, it was, I don't know, there weren't a lot of people at that beach. And there wasn't a lot of places, I feel like, that we could have found it where where somebody could have been hiding and then just put it out there. And right. You know what I mean? Like, like Wizarding World of Harry Potter, that was like, yeah. it could have been anybody around us. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, thanks you guys so much for supporting this awesome adventure. We're having so much fun and I'm excited for tomorrow because I think... It's gonna be really exciting. Really Alright guys, good morning. Welcome back to the beach house. Today is another day and another chance to be able to figure this whole thing out. We got an amazing treasure chest here for mystery and a clue that we have not solved properly because we thought it was the beach. We went to the beach and that was not the right place. So it uh, looks like one of the kids got a hold of this clue because it's uh, kind of in rough shape. But I'm going to reread the clue. The key you seek will be found near the beach or ocean or sea. There's a lot of water nearby this world of fancy. Wait, if that's a world of fancy, right. then maybe it's sea world. World of fancy. The other one says land of fancy. This one says world of fancy. And it says that it's by the sea. Maybe it's SeaWorld. Maybe it okay, is SeaWorld. Be because we went to the beach and obviously that was the wrong decision. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, that just didn't work. We couldn't find any And you know what? That messes yeah. up because all of the other ones were like, or fancy, yeah. land, world. Yeah. So let's just go with that and say it's a theme park and okay. it's gotta be SeaWorld. Okay. Well then let's all get ready and let's go to SeaWorld then. Okay. And then maybe finally we can find this last clue. Oh, the last key to open the treasure chest. Oh, let's go guys. I love you, Daddy. I love you too, Charlie. You're so cute. You're so cute too. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you guys excited? I've never seen a real woogle or me. <laughs> you guys might get to touch it. <laughs> I want to pet him. Is that cool, Ellie? <laughs> Yeah, my God.
brushes. <laughs> How's that breath? Does that breath smell good? <laughs> Grab a jello. You got it. Put it right in his mouth. Good job. Uh oh. It's a good way to hydrate him. At 48, he's had kidney stones. He has the same problems old people. 48 years old. He's fighting. There you go. Jello. What do you think of that, Ellie? Is that cool? A little scary? Look at this little fishy. Do you want to feed the fish to it? Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Let's do a couple things with them first. Do you guys want to hear him talk? Yeah? All right, everyone get your fingers up like this. And shake them. <laughs> that is awesome. You get a fishy. So how long have you had the whale here at SeaWorld? He's been here since 2001. Okay. But he was born in a zoo in Germany. Oh wow. What's interesting though, these guys traditionally live into their 30s. Oh wow. So at the age of 48. 48, that's pretty great. Yeah, we're going to do a couple of fun things with them first too. <laughs> <laughs> his eyes are closed. Very tiny compared to their body size because the their sight isn't their primary sense up in the Arctic. Oh, so, rough time seeing this more no next one. You got it. Is a pole that's about a half an hour. It's mean that you're not gonna stick your whole hand through there. You'll just put enough for her to grab oh, a piece. <laughs> and then she'll just take it and eat it. So you literally oh. just have to put enough for her to kind of hang on to. Yeah. And if you're going to take pictures, um, be ready because she doesn't really pose. <laughs> I get it. Figure that out. Do you want to feed it? <laughs> yeah, don't put your whole hand in there. There you go. <laughs> cool. So yeah, currently they're in yeah, the Yeah. Are those, so. those butterflies? Uh, they're surf and quahog. We've just really big. <laughs> we, we cut the surf. Good job, Corbin. Uh -huh. <laughs> there you go. We'll just put the little part for her to grab onto. There you go. Good job. That was very polite. Now, um, she's, just, she's the only one in here. <laughs> yeah, right now. Um, earlier this morning, all four of them were back here. Just now hand it to him very nice. Now put it all the way in there. Go in and snorkel. Yeah, there you go. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> he got it! He got it! <laughs> Does that look yummy, Ellie? Do you want some of that? Do you want some fish, Corbin? No. No? <laughs> she was actually rescued about 22 years ago. 22 years ago rescued. I think it's kind of like chocolate chips. Yeah, yeah. Is she and cool? It's interesting. Her, her are all Look at her. She, she goes like she gets so, creepy. So come on, Chris. There you go. There you go. Come on, Chris. She just her eyesight. Come over here. Her eyesight is getting a little bit funky. So make sure to toss it. Go ahead and put it on. Line drive. All right. Come here. Hold it. Throw it at her. That's a sardine. Throw it. Throw it to it. Throw it to that way she does if she wants to go into her pool she can um we try to kind of give them all a place to go if they're uncomfortable good girl Grimsy. can you look at the camera what a good girl there you go oh, Ellie, it's okay. look up and smile for the picture you don't have to touch her yeah smile 
Vocal development studies here at SeaWorld show that early on, calves learn vocalization from their mothers. As they grow, they learn from others close to them as well. Look at you! Did you get well? Yeah. <laughs> I got wet. The top of the ocean. Charlie got wet. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> the whales work together James. to rear their young, You're all protect wet. their pod, and most he importantly, was, I was pursue saying, you and keep catch moving, their prey. He was moving around Every day, I was like, you're going to have to go sit down by dad and you're going to get wet. In the wild and he came down here world. and he got wet. But I'm not that wet. James, are you all wet, dude? You're so wet. <laughs> I'm not that wet. So James is so wet. All right, here they come. Here they come. pretty awesome. I have to say that was definitely a hit. James had to change into a different shirt because his shirt he was wearing was totally drenched. My shirt is drenched and my pants are sopping wet. Yeah, we like got hit by a wave. I mean, you guys saw it. You guys were there. It was bad. Mr. E's clue led us here. At least this time we're pretty sure that this is where we're supposed to be. Guys, what are we looking for? A key, that's right. So Mr. E, let us hear. We're looking for the last key. How many more keys do we need, Charlie? One, one. One more key. And if we find that key, then we have all three keys. We can finally open up the treasure chest for Mr. E and see once and for all what's inside. So we're gonna have an awesome day. We've got some fun tours planned. So let's go see if we can have some fun, but also let's see if we can find that key, all right? You ready? Let's do it! Let's do it! Uh, we're here at SeaWorld. I am feeling just so pregnant, even though I'm not that pregnant right now, but I still feel like I'm so pregnant. <sighs> We've been walking a lot and experiencing a lot of cool encounters with animals, but now we really gotta get it cracking to look for that key because it's getting late in the day. And it seems like we never find these keys until it's later in the day, but we really need to. So we can just have fun. But maybe that's what we should do. Let's just have fun and go on a ride or something and then maybe the after you just we'll find on the back end, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just filmed the most nerve wracking video on the Becca and Ryan show. We had blindfolds on and we were petting animals. Michael would lead us up to the animal encounter or animal like petting water places. And, he, and we had our blindfolds on so we didn't know where we were or what we were touching. And we'd touch them and it would, we, oh, it was so nerve wracking. We touched a shark, a horseshoe crab. You'll have to go check it out on the Becca and Ryan show. It's really scary and really hilarious. <laughs>
feels what? Feel awesome. <laughs> All right, meal time. So they have the most awesome meal pass here. You get like unlimited meals uh, with like a one-time pass thing. So we've just been eating a bunch of food and Charlie is so full of food that it's coming out and we gotta go back and hunt. Is it time to go potty? I can bring him to the bathroom. Okay, so we're gonna take baby boy to the bathroom. Dinner is done. Still no tea. We're still looking though. I didn't do a healthy dessert. You should have put the strawberries on my cheesecake. Oh. <laughs> it's like the birds. They're coming in. Look at them. They're thinking about it. They're like. <laughs> They're going to come this way. <laughs> I don't think it <laughs> James, if you sat it down and walked away, they would all attack it. Go back, go back, go back. Back up a little. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm so cold right now. The day is almost over, but I am still soaking wet from when the whales came throwing all that water on us when we were watching the whale show. I'm freezing right now. My pants are soaking wet. My whole upper body is wet, but I had to put on my sweater because I was so cold. I needed to get something to keep warm. So, we just got done eating dinner. We're still looking for the uh, key. Charlie is absolutely running wild. We haven't seen any keys, no clues, nothing yet here at the entire park. Hey guys! Hey Dad! Have you seen the key yet? No. Uh, okay, yeah. so when we were at the beach the other day, we were looking for like an X in the sand, but we've also been kind of looking around here at the park to see if there's any clue or a hint. An X where? Right here! In the sand? Seriously? Okay! Oh my gosh! No way! No way! I was just sitting right here and it was right behind me. Are you kidding me right now? Let's go tell mom! Are you kidding me? Seriously? Wait, that was just sitting right there? Uh-huh. This whole time? I've probably walked past this place 10 times today. We've walked past this place so many times just walking up and down the street and I never saw that X. And we've been looking all over the place. Oh my goodness, is this the last one? <gasps> we got the last key! Yeah, let's go show mom quick. This is awesome. I found it! Good job, James! Let's go show mom quick, quick. Quick, go show mom, go show mom. We found it! Under the dirt in an X mark. There was an X in the sand. We were just walking by and I sat down to take a little video and the boys saw the X in the sand right well, behind actually, me. It was me. And James, then, and I think Alice helped see it too. Good job, dude. Let me see that one more time. Look at this. It's got the key. This is like a regular. This is what this will fit that hole. This will fit into that hole. Yeah! You wanna open up? Oh, I'm so excited! That's awesome! Day has come. We have the key and we have been waiting to open it up. Okay. Okay, I'm this, so excited. This, this walk is so intense. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, but it has this thing on it. Okay. So, so we used this key to get off the bottom and lower this. Now we use this key 
to open up the hole inside the lock. And that now really hard to we have out. the third and final key to be able to finally <gasps> unlock it. We did it! Oh! oh. Excited, we can't get Charlie? it off past this point, so oh. I guess that's the end Wait, of the trip. Wait, what? Sorry, I was filming everyone's reactions. <laughs> What's going on? But we can't get it past this point, so I guess that's the end of the treasure hunt. Okay, bye. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> we have to keep trying. We won't give up. <laughs> no. We have to keep. Ouch. Oh, you got it. Okay, look, it guys. can hang on there like that. Cool. Okay. I'm so Ooh. excited. Come on, baby. You got this. I believe in you. Who's one of the keys? <gasps> Whoa! Okay, let's clear a spot on the floor. <gasps> careful, careful. This is so old. It's actually sticking it's to the It's stuck floor. to the roof <gasps> of the box. It's all old Disney stuff. Old and this Disney fell out. Magazines? A map? Should we look at this map first, or should yeah. we look at the stuff first? Let's yeah, look at stuff. all the stuff. Okay. We'll save that look treasure at this. map. <gasps> oh, Jeller! Oh, some of the stuff came off of the roof of it. Like some of the wood stuck to this. Well, how long so, has it been in there? Oh, Walt Disney. Jiminy, Jiminy Cricket. Walt Disney's Jiminy Cricket. I didn't Walt even Disney's know. Walt Disney's Donald Duck. There's old comics. I didn't know there was comics. I didn't either. Okay, everybody hand me all the comics once you've looked through them. Comics. Uh, How old are these? Oh, Ooh. old Hitler! This has got to be... Yeah, all of these look like they're from before he died. It says... 1956. That was, no. Wait, wait, wait. When did the park open? When did Disneyland Park That's open? That's one year after Disneyland Park opened. Did you say the park opened in 55? Yeah. Oh no, this one's got me bent. Oh, mm. Walt Disney's Donald Duck. Guess Look what? Oh. These are the books before the movies came out. Maybe. Oh, look, interesting. Vacation time is all too short. Don't lose part in your vacation by having an accident. Be smart. Play safe. Don't break your leg with an air mattress, Jessica. Uh, said that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so there's some blankets in here. Oh. Dumbo! There's the Water Baby Circus. That's like, I've never even heard of that. Walt Disney Storybooks. I hope there's not like anything in the pages that we're missing or anything. Okay. Oh, Snow White's friends. I want to see what else is in this treasure chest. Oh, each of these is so unique. Okay, what Looks is like this? Looks like there's just some padding. Looks like there's... Like, oh. to protect What's it. What's that? Okay, Whoa. yeah, that's just padding. What, what are these? They're yeah. figurines. This look like the Whoa. Small World figurines. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, that's cool. Those are neat. <gasps> Walt? Mickey yeah. ears. Maybe there's a clue inside it if you open it up. Oh, let's open it. But there's cool. like, it actually says Walt on it. That's really neat. Do you think these are his, his Mickey, ears? Mickey ears? Like maybe he... What is it? Oh, that's so crazy. Oh, no. What is this? <gasps> to you, the lucky finder of this mystery chest, where our hopes and dreams have come alive, continue on your quest. Some say that it all started with a little mouse, but if the truth be spoken, start at a tiny house. Tiny house. Begin within my magic land, adventure will abound, but clue by clue step carefully so Patrick Begora can be found. W E D. Patrick Bagora. Walt. Wait. Tiny it house. could be Walt Disney. What's Walt's middle name? I don't know. Elias? Elias? Is it Walter Elias Disney? Whoa. Look at that. W E D. Walter Elias Disney. Do you Disney. think this chest is from Walt Disney? I think it is. It has his initials on the outside Wait. of the chest. Okay. okay. That's really that is cool. Crazy. Guys. What else Wait, is in here? What's that in here? Whoa. It's full of like treasure from Walt Disney. Whoa. Like real, authentic. Okay. 
These, okay. these okay. things are priceless. Yeah, okay. Everybody, okay. be very <gasps> careful. <laughs> okay, we've got an old, old. I wonder oh if these mean something. Goodness. If each of these has like a meaning to it. Minnie an old Minnie Mouse toy. Doll. Whoa. Ancient doll. doll. It's definitely changed shape since then. She <laughs> looks like a. Well, so has mother. Donald. Look Whoa, at Donald. Look at what Ellie found. Look at this Whoa. old Donald a statue. A key. There's a key. There's a key. <gasps> Oh. What's this? It's yeah. under. Oh. Oh, wow. Is that an old James found a key. Yeah. Well, James, not a key. This is like hand Look at what James found. Is that a pirate's Okay, w? whatever you do, don't lose any of these things because each of these things could be very important. Yes. Here. Okay. I think I want to hang on to that out, key. We out. might need that. Let, let, let me grab it, Corbin. Fragile. <laughs> okay. Okay, we need a place to put all this stuff. Should we just okay. set it out on the ground right sure. here? Sure. Yeah, let's just okay. set it right here in front of the chest. Wow. This and then, is like insane. This and this are from Pirates of the Caribbean. What is this? Mm. <laughs> this looks like a cookie jar. What has yeah. it got on it? Hi, it's a cookie jar. <gasps> Whoa, me and Mickey. And this <gasps> is Mickey and Minnie. Is that the top for the cookie jar? Oh my goodness. That is so cool. You don't see things like this anymore. <gasps> Did you get these out of there? Oh, whoa, whoa, see. whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at these little tiny things. Oh. This has got to be a chest full of like his most prized possessions or something. I wonder if they have any meaning. Like, what if these that note he said made it sound like there was some type of a adventure Mickey. or something. Remember Patrick Mickey. Bagora? Mickey. That is Mickey. Good job. Okay, why Check is there this out. a boat in here? It's it says, the Feet's so Landing. Oh, it says it, it? Yeah, it's yeah, a pirate that ship. Means it's Pirates of the Caribbean. Wait, that must uh, say, say it, it we should said, go on to uh, that Disneyland island. Said, that Lafitte's Landing. I remember that sign. too. That's right. Lafitte's Landing. We learned about Lafitte last year, remember? So is this supposed to be something from Pirates of the Caribbean? Or that was built before he died. Yeah, that was one of or the original rides at the park. Galveston. Okay, here's a book. A book. Let's look at okay. that later. More stuff. I cannot believe how full cool this is. Okay, so there's two things we haven't looked at yet. I think book. we should do the treasure map now. Should we look at the treasure yeah. map? Let's look at the treasure map. Does it have any? This just looks like a. Just looks like a, a map. So wait, 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 wait. Treasury. I can see it through. It says Pirates of the Caribbean on it. Maybe. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Hey, well. Can I see? Hmm. Right. I don't right. see any like. Maybe we should look. Like, look at treasure. it from it does um, say where the treasure. All right, what is, what's in the book? Yeah, just kind of take a look in there. There's drawings! There's his journal. Is that just like a notebook from Walt? Look at that. Started my new job today at a real art studio. Since the war, I can wait. Kansas City is nothing like France, but it sure won't be as... It just looks like it's a book full of notes. That we have to figure out. Oh. I've seen enough blood. The big city is exciting. I can get a picture for 50 cents at the drugstore cafe. I've been making sandwiches most of the time just to pay the rent. It looks like it's a journal or something. Yeah. It's just kind oh, of... this page is about to fall out, but look at it. <gasps> wow. Look, Dad. It's like little sketches of from Walt Disney. Oh my God. How much do you think this thing is all worth? I have Daddy. no idea. Yeah, Charlie's discovering all sorts of cool things on the back of this book. There was red at the beginning too. At the whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so we've got a ton of cool stuff here. Um, I want to. Oh, I feel like this is just a journal. It's just full of like timeless. It's it's a journal yeah. from Walt Disney. So that's something that I don't even. That's really special. 
I want to look at this again, though. I later. I know. I want to, too. Because this so was really interesting. It almost sounded like a clue. Well, the thing is, it talks about this chest. This mystery you, chest. The lucky finder of this mystery chest. Hopes. Where hopes and dreams have come alive, continue on your quest. Some say that it all started with a little mouse. But if the truth be spoken, start at a tiny house. Begin within my magic land. Do you think he's Disneyland. talking about Disneyland? Yes. Adventure will abound, but clue by clue, step carefully so Patrick Begora can be found. Okay, there's clue a couple by things clue. in here. Uh -huh. There's a few things in here that I think we should look up. Okay. Number one, Tiny House in Disneyland. Okay. And number two, Patrick Begora. Let's see who that is. Just see what pops up. Okay. okay. Right. I'm starting with Patrick Begora and just seeing what pops up. Okay. Wait, there's a tiny house. The little man of Disneyland and his adventure land home. Disney Parks blog. Is that in it's the park? It's next to Indiana Jones. Is that Disneyland? It's next to Indiana Jones. Okay, it We says, should go check it out. The little man in his of Disneyland in his Adventureland home. Have you ever noticed the tiny house built into the trunk of a tree uh, in Adventureland at Disneyland Park? No way. Many it's guests. Next to Indiana Jones. We should go. Many guests have wondered who its diminutive resident could be. Well, our friends at D23, Disney's official fan club, have the answer. The story of the little man of Disneyland, Patrick Begora. What? Wow. <sighs> Wait, what did it say? It all started with a little a little mouse, but if the truth be spoken, start at a tiny house. That's the tiny house. It okay. said it's an adventure land. Okay. We should go. Yeah, we're most Okay, let's the go to Disneyland today. Table. And let's find this tiny house with Kay. Patrick Bogora, his tiny house, I guess. All right. Wait, wait, what is, should we read a little bit more about it? Okay, so it says in 1955, the same year Disneyland opened, the little man of Disneyland, it introduced the leprechaun who lives in a tiny house in the roots of a Disneyland tree. So Disney, Patrick Bogora, is, I guess, a leprechaun who lives in the tiny house at the roots of a tree in Adventureland. So that's where we need to go. That says, that's where it starts. Wow. And then we have to follow clue by clue carefully. Okay. Cool, let's go. That's so exciting. Yeah. Okay, we gotta make sure this stuff stays safe. And do we need to bring any of this with us, do you think? If we're gonna- Let's at least bring the notebook. Okay, yeah. Okay. Well, all of this stuff- I don't think we could bring it, and I don't think we'll need to. Let's leave it here where it'll be right. safe. Okay. Okay. Ellie, where did you find that? It was downstairs on the printer. Really? Yeah. It's the 3D thing. Oh, we've seen these before. Yeah, yeah these before. when it was Mr. E. That's right. This is for Mr. E. He we sent haven't had anything from him for a very long time. He did send us one of these before. Okay, I can make out a couple things. Oh, dang it, I lost it. Oh, did you almost have yeah, it? I was like, you know how you can kind of like cross your eyes and then it kind of starts to like become... Yeah. So Mr. E has sent us like, he sent us things on our phones before. He's got the security cameras protecting our home. It wouldn't surprise me if he has access to our wireless printer. Maybe he printed something for, through our wireless printer to send to us. Oh, that would be so cool. I hope it's for Mr. E. Okay, I cannot... Do it. It's giving me a headache. <laughs> Could you okay, try? Let's just hold let's it up, up here. Where there's really good lighting okay, it's got to have nice even lighting. And then let's see if we can read it. Can you guys read that? Let me try. Can I think I, I know what it says. Really? Yes. What does it say? Okay, it says, children are naturally curious. Children are naturally curious? Can you read that? Can you see it? You kind of have to blow your eyes a little bit. Yep. Children are naturally curious. 
Wow. Do you think you could pick it up on the camera? I can read yeah. it. So they can read it. it too? Can you read it? Yeah. I filmed it. So okay. if you guys want to try pausing it and reading it, you can for yourself. Too. You should be able to. Children are naturally curious. Did you see it too? Yeah. Good job. What do you think that means? Um. Children are naturally curious. Maybe children are naturally curious. Museum? Is there a children's museum? Children are naturally curious. Okay, if we're looking at this in a way, if it is from Mr. E, mm -hmm. then we need to look at it like, is he trying to send us somewhere? And if he is, then he it needs does. to be with something that's children and curious. He usually does send us places. Look at my phone, maybe if I Google children are naturally curious, we'll find out something. Okay. Ah! I had to move the paper and it lost it again. Children are naturally curious. Ah, I can't do it! It's so hard! Tell us in the comments below if you can do it. Okay, go get some out of the fridge, okay? Okay. Okay. It's it's a Valentine's Day cup. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's Children are naturally curious. What's popping up? A lot of like articles and documents and things. I'm gonna look up, try and see if there's anything places? on the map, like a place. Yeah. Because mystery always sends us to places. Yeah. There's the map. Children ah. are naturally curious. Oh. What? Take a look at this. Here, let me let me show you this. Okay. Right here. There's a museum of natural curiosity, and it's a children's museum. Is it a children's museum? Yeah. See, I, Children are naturally curious. See, yeah. That totally I, fits. I knew it. And that's actually pretty close by. Okay. Should we go there and see if Mr. Yes. Put there for us? Yes. That's awesome. I'm so cool. Excited. <laughs> are you ready, Charlie? Wait, yeah. so we get to go to a children's museum today. That is so exciting. Okay, well then let's, everybody let's all get ready and let's go! Yeah! Okay, we are on our way. We're headed to the Children's Museum and hopefully we'll be able to find the next clue for Mr. E there. Any idea where, like what he might be sending us here for? I mean, he sent us on trips before and we'd go from one place to the next on a west coast trip or whatever, but since then he just sends us to like little places here and there just for like a day or a weekend. Like, yeah. do you think this might be the start of something new or do you think this is just kind of like a one day thing? I don't know, I kind of think this is a one day thing because I'm looking at it and thinking, he didn't say, he, it was a very vague clue. Yeah. And with the ones that he sent us on the big road trip, it was like a lot more information, I feel like. That's true. Do you think he'll ever send us on another big long road trip again? I don't know. Like that, that was so cool like the though. First one. I'd love to do something like that again. Yeah. Well, Mystery's watching, so if you're out there, Mystery, just know, I think it'd be really cool to be able to go on another big long, family road trip again. Yeah. Okay, who's ready to have fun today? We're here! Woo! Man, it's, it's been snowed. But you can see all the pecks in the snow from the rain that's been falling. Yeah. Look at that! Museum of Natural Curiosity. Yeah. I've never even been here before. Yeah, you did. Have you guys even been here before? Once? Only once! Cool. Dad, I know how to be on a rock! Cool! I know two times! Awesome! I'm so excited! Either Charlie was a brand new baby. I actually, I think I had a brand new baby. I know Maybe that I had a Ellie. baby. Because it was really hard it to... It might have been Ellie. All it, I know is that we couldn't the use a stroller. Yeah, I just know that I had to use, I wanted to use a stroller, but I couldn't, so I had to carry the baby around on a, in a baby carrier, and it was so hard. It's the perfect size. It's the perfect size. 
I don't know. Now you know how I feel all the time. <laughs> Walking through the doors. Much too tall. <laughs> You're jumping on the bridge. It's a long way down. I wish we had a place like this when I was a kid. I know, right? All we had was a McDonald's ball pit with 30 diapers. <laughs> I am so scared of heights. We're going on the ropes course. <laughs> All right, let's go. Careful, this is just a bridge. Do you need help? Good job. Hey Becca, it says no pregnant women. I'm not even joking. You're doing good, Charlie. Give me your hand, buddy. There we go. You saved him. You saved me, I saved you. What's going on, buddy? I'm so scared of that. You're scared? That's a long a way down, huh? Face your fears kind of day. Yeah, we gotta face our fears here today. Give it Charlie's hold my hand. Yes. What? I wanna hold your hand. You wanna hold my hand? Yeah. Okay. Are we gonna go across this big bridge yeah. together? Yeah. Okay. James is doing it. He's not being too scared. He's doing a good job. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Are you going with Charlie? Charlie's little hands are sweaty. <laughs> oh, he's nervous. I'll come with you. You're doing great. Keep going, Ellie. Keep doing it. Keep going. Hey, are you guys flying in? You're doing great, Charlie. Keep going, buddy. I was so scared. This is one of my safest days of my life. You're doing good, dude. Here we come. Becca, can you help us? <laughs> good job. <laughs> you did it. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, this place looks kind of cool. Oh, that's a cool machine. Forever picking his nose. That's Charlie.
Rebecca, how are you holding up, babe? So pregnant. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, oh. Ew, did they come down the shelter? How did you shit? <laughs> Not with other kids. Corbin's a pirate, and James is a pirate, and James is the damsel in distress. And Ellie, said in James. Oh, Ellie is the damsel. <laughs> Usually it's James that's the damsel. <laughs> hey. James, you're trapped in prison, dude. You're stuck in there forever now. No. You can never get out. I'm right there. Did you teleport? I thought only Corbin could teleport. Uh, well, how about you slide into that stack of cash and bring me a few dollars? That's real money, you guys. That's real money. What are we looking for, James? Mr. E. Clue. That's right. We still need to find the Mr. E. Clue. Have you seen anything yet? Hey Corbin, have you seen anything from Mystery yet? Okay, keep your eyes open. Charlie, have you seen anything from Mr. E yet? No. Okay, well keep looking. That's kind of cool. Wobbly one. But this is the regular one. Oh, shit. This one's really wide. So Whoa. that makes it fat. What is that, Ellie? Bubble making? Bubble popping? I think I know cool. why they switched out the train one Ooh. with the car one. Wash your laundry with just the push of a button. Oh, so nice. satisfying. <laughs> M I N E. Minecraft. C R A F T. C R A F T. Mm-hmm. Minecraft. I like Minecraft. It's my favorite video game. Can I take? Do you want to go super fast? <laughs> you want to go super fast? Ready? I'm going to make it go fast. Hey Corbin, what are you looking at, dude? Mosquitoes. You're looking at mosquitoes? Is that a microscope? Yeah. What does it look like? That is pretty cool. Okay, you have to hide your arm in the shelf. You have to put your arm in one of those shelves. Are you in number five? Okay, do a different one.
What is it doing? Are you in number three? Yes. Good job. It's feeling warm? Yeah. I don't know. It says, hold your bed. Hold your bed. And slowly tilt your yeah. thermometer up and down. When the temperature goes up, you found a nice, warm, juicy arm. Okay, Ellie, put your arms in one of them. James, try putting your arm in one of these holes and let Corbin see if he can find out which uh, which hole you have your arm in. So use the curtain to protect yourself. So you have to hide behind the curtain so they can't see which which arm you're using. Oh, he's in number four. Okay. Which one is? You have to guess which one is James. Which one James is on? What? What the? This is Beach Family. <gasps> Where was it? One. It was in number three? Yeah. I put my arm you in there. You just had your hand in there. You didn't feel anything? No. We're supposed to be looking for a clue. That's true. And we found it without even really looking. Is there somebody? Do you guys see anybody that looks mysterious? Don't. Don't look at anybody or else we won't get any more clues. That's true. Okay. Okay, we won't look anymore. All right, James, what do you think about the ropes course? How do you feel about it? I want to go on the most safe one. Oh, really? If I wanted to, I'd get the one. They're all the most safe ones. Wait, how many of them are there? I don't know, but I do know that it's all safe because you're going to be strapped into a harness. Kind of like a seatbelt thing. Are you excited? If I fall, will I just hang there? Yes. You won't actually fall. Is that cool? Okay. I am super afraid of heights. What do you think about it, Ellie? Are you nervous? No. Yeah, you're a tough girl, huh? I want to go with who I. I want to go with an adult. That's going with you. Okay. Oh, I want to go with Dad. Dad too. Yep. You'll all be with Dad. All right, are you nervous about the ropes course? No. Are you excited? Oh, yeah. yeah. Ellie, Corbin's excited. Ellie, are you nervous or excited? Um, I'm a little bit scared. But James is like super scared? I'm okay. super nervous. So, nervous. This is great because Mystery's been having you guys challenge some of your fears today, being on the other ropes things, but now we're going an actual ropes course. This is something you guys have never done. and. I think you're gonna be really scared, but I think it's gonna be really good for you. And then, as soon as we're done with this, let's open up that letter that we found from Mystery, okay? Okay. Yeah. Can okay. you come with me? I'm gonna go with you guys. Yeah. We're all doing it together. So yeah, let's yeah. go. It's time to go. Come on. Okay. You're getting the harness on. Good job, Corbin. Now Ellie's getting all put inside the harness too, and James too. All right. Okay. 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 It looks like you guys are all hooked up, harnessed up, and ready to go. I think we're ready. Are you guys ready? That's so exciting. So they hook you up, and then they can lift you up just like that. My hands are so up, Shelly. Ready? Whoa. I can do my workouts just like this. <laughs> no, you're too many. You're too many. No, you're way, way too many pounds. I'm not that strong. <laughs> All right, you guys. This is going to be intense. Michael's on the rope, guys! Oh, there's Michael and Ellie! Ellie! <laughs> She's walking on the board! Ah! There's Dad! Look up! He's up there! Yeah. Look, he's doing it! Doing? Does that look scary? I want to do it like that. 
That looks so fun. Oh, wow. Look at them. <laughs> Are you bored, Charlie? Oh man. Michael's going up. He looks nervous. He went to the end already, so he's going back to the start. Cool. It was a super, super awesome fun day. All the kids have had a really, really good time. James, can I see the letter? Each family. Whoa. Wow guys, that was so terrifying. Becca, you know that I'm totally terrified of heights, right? You did a good job. I was so scared, but I had to be brave for the kids. <laughs> I wasn't scared, I was with you. Corbin did the entire obstacle course twice. Me and Ellie both did the entire thing once. Well, not twice, I did You did. Exactly. You went around the entire thing twice, and James did one little strip. <laughs> And then he decided he was done. Yeah, but at least he tried. That was good. That is right. And he actually did face his fear because that was really scary. Even that first one that he did was really scary. Yeah. There were even more scarier ones than that. So I'm really proud of him for even just doing what he did do. So I found that I went to a doctor's appointment and I have low iron, which is crazy because I already take two iron pills a day. But anyways, I have low iron and I haven't gotten more. It's supposed to be like liquid iron, and so I'm just exhausted. It has this, been a long day. I'm like, I could fall asleep right now. Well, I'm so tired. Before we go, we need to open up this letter from yes. Mr. E. I think. We do. So this is gonna be so cool. Should we go get some food and then maybe open it up at the restaurant? Yes. Or? Yeah. Where are you gonna have Hawaiian food? I like it. You like it? Do you like it, James? It's really good Hawaiian. I got some Kalua pork right here. Do you like it? Yeah, yummy. Is it good? Now that we got a little bit of food, everybody's feeling a lot better. That we needed that a lot because it was like everybody was kind of getting pretty cranky. I think everybody's very hungry because we've been gone for a long time and done a lot of adventures. But once we eat a little bit more food, I think we're ready to open up Mystery's letter. Yeah. You guys ready? Okay, finish eating your food. Okay, we got everybody in the van where it's warm and quieter. A little bit crazy in there, so I think we're gonna open the letter out here in the van together. But dinner was where's so Ellie? good. Do I get to open it? Uh, where's Ellie? She's right here. Ellie's in the back. Come look, everybody. Everybody watch. <gasps> Whoa, a dinosaur. Whoa, a dinosaur. Whoa. That's cool. Whoa. 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 Oh, wow. Wait, do that again. I missed it. Whoa. <laughs> dinosaur. Oh, yeah, a volcano. And grass. Oh, oh, this is where the note is. Oh, is there a note inside? Mr. Mr. E. We knew it was mystery! Yeah! Wait! Wait. Look on the other side. It just says mystery. Is that it? Is it just a dinosaur? Yeah! What could that mean? Wait! Let's look for a, another clue. Maybe there might be another clue. Is there anything else? It's just a dinosaur. <gasps> That's oh. all! Uh. Are there any dinosaurs nearby? Do you guys know about any dinosaurs? <gasps> There's a building just over this way or that way that has a big T-Rex on the side of it. Really? Yes. Really? No way. Yeah, there really is. Seriously? Okay, if that, if that's all the information we have. Okay, that's guys. Seriously if you guys know anything about dinosaurs nearby, we are near Thanksgiving Point in Utah right now. We just got this clue from Mystery and all it is is a dinosaur. Let us know in the comments below if you guys know anything about dinosaurs or where we could find out more information about dinosaurs nearby. Okay. Because I think we're in the right area. I mean, it's going to be somewhere in Utah, I think. It's got to be because I'm pregnant and I can't travel. Yeah. So let us know in the comments below if you guys have any idea what this clue means. Help us out and then maybe in the next video we'll be able to solve it and go to the new location. 
today we are going to figure out where we're going to be going. And thank you for helping us find the clues. And thank you for helping us figure out where to go. And before we start going on the adventure, we're going to talk about what happened last time. So, last time we found this really cool clue at the Children's Museum. It was from Mr. E. Because look, it says it right on this note. Mr. E. Thank you guys for helping us solve the clue. Now that we know where to go, we're going to the Dinosaur Museum today. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we're going to find a new clue. Yeah. We're ready. Guys, look, there's a giant dinosaur on that building. We're here. I think there's another dinosaur on the front, actually. Yeah, it's a T-Rex. There's a big T-Rex on the front. Yep. I always see it from the highway. Yep, it's right there. Yeah. It's right there. I see it, too. The apple might be yeah. yep. Tyrannosaur is dead. Look at that. I think we're here for sure. Oh, that dinosaur is huge. Man, that snow is really uh, windy. It's cold out here. Glad we're going inside. We should watch the movie. Turtle Odyssey 3D movie. That looks cool. What do you think, Corbin? Oh, yeah. oh, Volcanoes. Better. Flight of the Butterflies. They have some movies here. They have like a theater, I think. That'd be really cool. Are you ready to see dinosaurs? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Whoa. What is that, Charlie? What is it? It's a skeleton dragon. <laughs> It's a skeleton dragon. What? Ooh! She's finding dinosaur bones in the ground. That's right. See these, all these dinosaur bones? They were once buried in the rocks. And people dug them out of the rocks and then put them on display for you guys to see. Oh wow, look, there's a flying pterodactyl. And a big fish up there. This is so cool. There's serpents, Dad. There are and serpents. And that's how uh, big or how wide the footprints. How are your footprints compared oh, to these footprints? Or this foot. There's more dad. Let me see your foot next to that foot. It's almost the same size. Dad, there's more. <gasps> more footprints? Where are they going? We should follow them. What do you guys think? They go in there. Ooh. Hey, okay guys, you got some maps? Yeah. Looks like you're ready to take this adventure following the footprints. But before we get started, there's a quiz. Who's ready for the quiz? Yeah. Me. What kind of dinosaur is that? Rat. How can you tell? Utah Raptor. It's the Utah Raptor. Did you guys know that there's a dinosaur called Utah Raptor? Is that cool? Dad, Dad, look. look at those big claws on its toes. Dad, <laughs> what? Dad, look, there's that and that's the thing. Oh, you're right, that's the same. Yeah. Look, cool, let's go. That and there's that. Let's follow the map. Okay, guys, I just found out something very interesting. So we're here at this dinosaur museum. We're gonna be learning a lot about dinosaurs. But do you know what somebody who hunts and finds dinosaur bones is called? No. What's, what are they called if they dig up dinosaur bones? They're called a paleontologist. Is that a weird word? Yeah. Paleontologist. Paleontologist, that's right. Paleontologist. Good job. So Look up there. I see there's dinosaurs flying in the sky. No, those so, are Right, so pay, pay attention now. Paleontologists have to be very careful to details. Okay, they look very closely at everything. And you guys have to do that today because we're looking for 13 hidden gnomes. 
gnomes. And the, it's this is right, on right over here. Do you want to see what a picture of a gnome is? That is what a gnome looks like. So there's going to be 13 of those hidden, and we have to be very, very careful to find all of them. So you have a piece of paper right here. Do I have to write that one? Yep, so write the welcome sign. Welcome to exhibit halls. 13 gnomes, so write it on the paper, the welcome sign. Are you guys ready? I think the kids were saying there's a lizard over here. We're following the dinosaur track. Oh, what? It's an actual one. Oh, holy cow. It blinked. It blinked as moving its head. You guys know what kind of lizard that is? What? Do you know? Corbin, do you know? Charlie, that lizard is bigger than you, buddy. Yeah. Do you know what kind of lizard that is? Yeah. What kind is it? Um, it's breathing. Rebecca, tell us what kind of lizard is it? I don't know. You don't? It's an iguana. Big it's a huge iguana. Did you, you guys want to know something crazy? It is an iguana. You guys want to hear something crazy though? When I was a kid, when I was your age, James, we had a pet iguana just like that. Was it that big? It was a little bit smaller, but it was the same animal. It was an iguana. Well, that is no big to get that big. Oh yeah, it they moved, get huge. It moved to the eye. Yeah, the iguanas get very big. But they're very aggressive too. They're not they're not very nice. Let's keep going and look for those gnomes guys. Look for those gnomes hidden. Dad, Dad, look, look. Fossil of the moon. These are bones. What is this guy? What is he doing? So what is he called? Do you remember? Uh, hey. A paleontologist. Good job, paleontologist. That's oh, right. Look. Look. Ooh. Oh, now look closely everywhere. We gotta find those gnomes. They could be anywhere. Look. What is it, Ellie? Oh, no. Is it some kind of a bone? Yeah. I think it's a backbone of something, maybe. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Whoa, a big foot! That's that a is huge like foot. smaller than a leg of a rex. That is that really big toes. Cool. Do you see any gnomes in here, guys? I found one. I think James found it. <laughs> it's all the way up there. Look how tiny it is. It's tiny! It's a tiny little baby gnome! It's all the way up at the top. All the way up there. <laughs> that is so small. Put uh, above the time. The geological time clock. Those gnomes are way smaller than we thought they were, so this is gonna be a lot harder than we thought. <laughs> <laughs> what if, so what if we have to like find all the gnomes for Mysteries Pluto up here? Ooh. I wouldn't be surprised. That's the kind of thing you would do. Our eyes yeah, look very closely. So this is what workers live in right now. Oh, to work at, to it's dark in them. here. It's extra dark, so make sure you look really closely for any gnomes that might be hidden inside of here. So that's cool. Whoa. This is cool. Are we going through time? We're going all the way back in time. <laughs> <gasps> wow! Let's make sure we don't miss any gnomes. That's pretty incredible that they have like rocks and things from that time period. Yeah. So many millions. And 1,800 million years ago. Oh, Dad, look. Wow. Look. Water? That's in water. That's 
That's cool. This is in blue. Yeah. And then when you go Ooh. Whoa. Look at these. These are so cool. Yeah. What is that, Charlie? That's a scary monster fish, huh? It's like a snail. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Look, Dad. There's stuff wow. right there. See, these These are like old alligator. This is what like alligators, I guess, used to be. Maybe. Or crocodiles. Still no more. Still no more gnomes yet. That's cool. That's very cool, Ellie. They're attacking each other. They're, they're attacking each other? Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh that's terrifying. Tunnels. 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 Look for gnomes inside the tunnels, guys. There's no gnomes in there. I checked. I went in. You checked already? Okay, they could be up there somewhere. <gasps> we found a long neck. To hold up its neck. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. That's some serious here. support beam support here. system. They almost did yeah. all the things. Ooh. Dinosaur bones. So cool. I Are you climbing on the dinosaur foot? Look, Dad, look up. Whoa. We are underneath and inside of a dinosaur. Imagine is an earthquake and it's like caged. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find a gnome? No, we're still looking. Keep your eyes peeled. What are you guys working on here? I'm making like a big hole blocking the water. Got... Yeah. Hollow underneath? Yeah. This is really cool. They've got like sand and water so the kids can like hunt and dig for dinosaurs. Ellie did this? To block the water? Whoa, that's so cool, Ellie. Let me wash off in Have you guys found any gnomes buried in the sand, Charlie? No. No gnomes? I'm trying to find, look. Mom there. says you did this, Ellie. I did it. So now there's a pool of water here that wasn't there before. Yeah. That's cool. something that I found. What'd you find, buddy? It, it looks like a box. A box? That's what it looks like. Where? Is it this rock right here? We've got this beautiful mural on the wall. Pictures of dinosaurs. Where? Oh, what the heck is that? That's interesting. Something like the foundation of this plastic mountain thing. You guys having fun though? Maybe it's the water that comes through. Oh, that's probably what it is. So we've been looking really, really hard to find gnomes that are hidden and I guess they have some gnomes that are actually painted into the wall like into the murals the the gnomes are painted into the wall and so we've been looking at a ton and I think I just found one you ready to see where it is yeah. it's in this area let me know when you see it am I looking in the right place Here, it's on this tree yes It might be higher, it might be lower, but it's on the tree. You see it? It's right there. Do you guys see it? It's camouflaged. Do you find it? Do you guys see it? Oh my gosh, it's right there. <laughs> It's I hidden. Don't <laughs> like, without glasses, I can't see. You can't that. even see it. It just looks like part of the tree. It's right wow. there. Right, so he's like sitting slouched, right? Yeah. There it is. Can you see it now, Becca? Yeah. Yeah. Check out those huge dinosaur skulls. Yeah. Are those cool, Ellie? Yeah. Look at all those. That fish one is terrifying. Hey, that's not a dinosaur, that's a human skull. You guys see the human skull? Saber-toothed tiger, T-Rex. 
Oh, maybe it is a walrus. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, the smaller one? Oh, you're probably right, actually. That's probably a walrus. So. No. <laughs> that would be like a cartoon version of a saber tooth tiger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're right. Actually, oh, look, the answers are all right here. I think. Yes, it is a walrus. You got yeah. it right. Like, oh, good job. Silmadon. Sil Similar. This saber tooth cat. Saber tooth cat, yeah. Okay. Good job, you know dinosaurs <laughs> way better than me. <laughs> so funny. Oh, see that skull right there? That's a gnome skull. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> that sounded like you said a gnome skull. Gnome skull. Hey, um, I gave Charlie, I, you know how he has that giant pocket on his overalls? Yeah. He's been starting to complain about being hungry, so I just filled it with trail mix. There's trail mix inside the pocket? <laughs> He's perfectly happy. <laughs> That's cute. Mom, Mac. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex. Boom. Those are terrifying. Triceratops. That's a cool one, huh, Ellie? That one is that. That's right. And it eats. It eats plants. What is an animal called that eats plants? Um, herbivore. Good job. A T-Rex eats only meat. Omnivore. Nope. What kind of animal eats? Carnivore. Carnivore. Good job. Carnivore eats... Under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Look at this huge crush. Turtle talk with crush. It's very hot in here. Yeah. It's hotter under the water. That's why it's hotter. <laughs> Whoa! That's all rainbowy. That's so cool. It's a Placine tisserus. That's pretty. <laughs> I don't know why, but I really didn't know it. Charlie, favorite. Charlie's singing under the sea. Can you sing it for me? Yeah. Sing it. Under the sea. Under the sea. Dance. That's a sweet dance move. <laughs> okay, treasure hunters, we've got an amazing water, underwater mural on the wall here, and I'm gonna need your guys' help. If you see anything in the background behind me when I'm filming, or if you see anything when I'm panning across, make sure to let us know in the comments below, because we're looking for another gnome in here and I know it's in here, I know there's gonna be one painted on the wall, but now we just gotta find it and I need your help. I found it, I found it, I found it! <laughs> it's hidden in the corner over here. Oh, that, that looks like a merman gnome. Uh, he's got a trident. Oh my gosh, that's so cool, I found it. I can't believe you found that. I have good eyes. Look at how big this room is. I know, it's a huge room. You know how I found it? I had your guys' help. Thanks you guys for all the help. <laughs> Looking in the walls, trying to find these hidden hidden gnomes. Did you guys see it? Yeah. I just want to pass to me. See more gnomes. Wow. They call it a gnome because they put a green hat. That's all it takes. <laughs> I just found another one. I just walked in the room and I could see it as I walked in. <laughs> Okay guys, so we just left the fish room and right as we were walking in, I could see it right up there on the wall. It's, it's, it's pretty well camouflaged, but I think I've gotten a pretty good sense of kind of what to look for uh, as we're looking on the walls. But that means that we've only found four. That means there's nine more that I still haven't found yet. Did you? We just found another one. Oh, yes. Can you see it? I don't even think I could see it on the camera, it's so tiny. It's in the shadows. It's in the shadows, yeah. That's a good one. We found five now. Eight more to go. James, I found another gnome. Yep, it's in this corner somewhere. I wanna see if you can find it. Tell me if you see it. Get real close. Right there. You found it! There it is. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good job. Right there. Let's see, that's number, what number? Is that number six? six. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? what? You guys found one? Yeah, right up there. <gasps> hey! Good job. It's right up there in the corner. Nice. That means we found seven now. Okay, we're in the quarry room now. All sandy. And we're looking for another gnome. We're looking for the last painted gnome, hoping that it'll be painted on the wall somewhere in here. If you guys see it, let me know in the comments below if you guys see it. Did you guys find one? We did, right there. Whoa! Whoa. No way! That's the last painted gnome. Yeah. Are you having fun on covering some bones, Ellie? Yeah. Remember, we're still looking for a clue for Mr. E, too. Okay, this is the last room, so... We might have to come back and look for the rest of the gnomes another day. We still have to find a clue from Mr. E. What if he buried something in the sand? I don't You never know. What kind of dinosaur is this? There's Charlie. Are you digging it around, Charlie? Yeah. You found anything cool? Yeah. What'd you find, buddy? Um, a letter. What? Yeah. Wait. He said he found a letter. Where? Where? Really? Yeah. <gasps> what? No way! It says mystery. It does. What? James, look at what Charlie found. He was digging and he found it buried. That is cool. We need to open that. Well, we're done. There's the lobby. That's the end. We made it all the way to the end. That means he was here somewhere. That means Mr. E was here. He was just ahead of us the whole time. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder if he has connections, like he knows the people that own these, or he's so rich, he just like, maybe he can see all the security system and see like oh, yeah. exactly where we're There are at. cameras. There's a camera right there. I wouldn't surprise me if he knew we were coming and he, and he buried it quick yeah. in the sand. Should we open it? Yeah. Okay, it's all sandy. Cool. I'm surprised no other kid found it before. You know what that means? That means that he was here right before we were here. Or maybe he was like, here while we right. were here. Or one of his people that worked for us and we just didn't oh. even recognize it. But if one of those moms or one of those other kids was working for him? What if the gnomes are actually like... A distraction. What if yeah. the gnomes are like the gingerbread man's uh, <laughs> minion? Maybe. We'll do it on. Want to open the letter now? I'm tired. I want to open it up. Yee, I'm so excited. I wonder where we're gonna go next. Are you guys excited? Yeah. No, this one's a note. Oh, like a piece of paper? Yeah. Oh. What does it say? Nothing. Nothing. Wait. Yeah. There's nothing else. Invisible there. ink. <gasps> what? He's done that before. Are you sure there's nothing on it? Oh, wait, maybe we uh, have to do the um, lighting it up. What? We used the lighter. Yeah. And we made it hot. And then that revealed the secret hidden message. Let's go. No, we can't do that here. I guess we'll have to do that later when we get home. Guys, we're going to be bringing this note home. In the next Mr. E episode, we're going to heat it up and see what the hidden message is. Are you guys excited to see yeah. where we're going next? Okay, yes. till then, let us know in the comments below if you guys have any guesses about where we might be going, what kind of secret message uh, Mr. E sent maybe us. Maybe we're going to a park. Maybe. I have no idea. Maybe a whole nother road trip. What if he gives us an even bigger RV? <gasps> that would be cool. Oh, Who knows? That. But let us know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you guys had so much fun with us today at the Dinosaur Museum. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.